Hey guys, um, we're gonna take a quick short. Actually, I think I'll put this at the start of the video, but what I was gonna talk about is Joey's injury. If you guys have not heard about that, um, I talked about it in the last video, I'll put that up there somewhere. Um, uh, sh like short thing is he crashed his dirt bike. Um, I'll put some pictures up here of the dirt bike. I'll put one over there or something or somewhere of the dirt bike. Um, his x-ray of his like arm shoulder area and then some pictures of him and how he's doing uh, along with I think I can get a picture of the side-by-side -side he hit but yeah that's gonna be kind of what I'm gonna do in this section of the video talk about um I'm hoping the goal for him is he wants to be honestly I wouldn't be surprised if he's back on dirt bikes by fall and he'll be snowmobiling for sure this winter uh, at least that's his goal. Um, so, leave some love for him down in the comments. Yeah, thank you. Back to the video. Um, hey everyone. Uh, so I'm just going to talk about the dirt here. It's difficult, even with the dirt being so loose. Uh, the bike just wants to go. And uh, I'm struggling to keep it back. But we're going to keep trying for a little bit. Um, just let, hopefully you like the video. Uh, we're gonna go through some other things, so stay tuned. Yeah. This thing is just coated in dust. Um, if you look at these coatings here. And then we were trying to use water to cool off the muffler because to do the wheelie, I not wheelie, burnout. I need not that to burn me, so I cool it down or try to. Um, and then that's just coated in dust from this. And the tire's kind of muddy, sandy, because the uh, sand is dry on top and wet on the bottom of it. But this has been fun. I'm going to do a couple more, and then we're going to go up to our shop and do a burnout there. So stay tuned. Better. Mm. Okay, so I have been thinking of videos to do for the future with the mini bike. Um, that'll be kind of the topic of videos up until I get some more things for the snowmobile or if I think of some ideas for the four wheeler. Um, but one idea I have is on these mini bikes that have a governor, which basically shuts you down when you get to a certain speed. And that's, it slows it down a lot. So there's two options to kind of bypass the governor or get rid of the governor. One is to remove it entirely. And how I'd have to do that is I'd have to take the entire engine out of it and pull the pull pieces off and get it out of the, um, it's like a gear area, I forget what it's called. But the other option not only would add more power than just removing the governor, it's easier than removing the governor. It'd be, you can buy carburetors for this, which completely bypasses the governor, and it makes it where it has more power anyways. So, the uh, this carburetor would hook up on the back here. I forget exactly where it hooks up, but it's on the back of it, and it'd stick out. Um, it kind of maybe possibly be a little ugly, but it would add more power, which would be huge in the long run. And I'd be much happier with more power and a little ugliness than less power. So if you guys like that idea, let me know. And that should make like doing jumps easier and stuff like that. Um, 
or attempting jumps and not dying. But yeah, let me know. Hello everyone, I'm looking into the sun, so I'm squinting, that's why. But, we're about to go down with the mini bike, and my brother's four-wheeler onto a trail that I've not been on before with the mini bike. Um, it's where we took, which you haven't seen my brother's four-wheeler since my video about mudding, um, which was around 4th of July last year. So we're coming up on a year from that video. Uh, but if you want to watch it, I'll put it up on the screen somewhere. But, um, we're taking this so that if I crash or something, someone's with me. And then the goal is just to kind of see how the trail is down there with the mini bike. Um, it should be fun. It's a little different view. It's where we took this down for that muddying video. So, yeah, that's the goal. Have fun. So this is the powder paint I will be using for the backings on the studs for the snowmobile. Um, it's basically, it's just an orange, um, but it's by Prismatic, Prismatic Powders. My brother, I got orange, my brother's getting green for his new snowmobile. Um, this is kind of this is what it looks like. It's Mine's just normal orange, his is more of a complicated name for a color of green because he did a lot of searching but i think it's gonna look amazing um with the orange on the snowmobile i didn't have to be too picky on shades because like it has every single shade of orange throughout the entire thing because there's darker down here and lighter so it should i'm hoping it somewhat matches the um wind guards and uh grips but if it doesn't it'll be fine because it will match with the rest but that's the goal for it. pretty dirty it's like extremely dusty it doesn't look bad right now um 
but once you get inside where there's a, it's not like bright light at it, it looks so dusty. So we're gonna start by rinsing it off a little. Thank you guys so much for watching the video today. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I should put the seat cover on. But yeah, 